Federico Barocci was definitely one of the most highly regarded uh, painters working in Italy towards the end of the 16th and in the very first years of the 17th century. Nobody's ever heard of him, and yet he's one of the world's greatest um, colorists and one of the greatest draftsmen that there've ever been in the history of Italian painting. He was a wonderful innovator, and he always has an original take on things. So they're really beautiful, and they're very intellectually interesting as well. Federico Baracci was born around 1533 in Urbino, a northeastern city not far from Venice. Urbino had been a major court center under the Montefeltro family. It really flourished and became a, a real center for erudition, for mathematics, for a major artists came to that court. So by the time he was in his 20s, he had had exposure to a number of artists in the tradition of Raphael and the tradition of Titian. Federico Baracci certainly had an affection for the Duke Francesco Maria della Rovere. The Duke was a very pious and intellectual man. He um, amassed a vast library in his later life and um, also wrote deeply. He went to Rome in the 50s and he went again in the 1560s. But according to his biographer, he was poisoned. There are various interpretations as to whether he was actually poisoned. I personally think he probably was. He retreated, and so from the mid-1560s till the end of his life, 1612, he lived and worked in Urbino. Baracci and his family lived in the heart of Urbino. Visible from the top windows of his own house, um, Barocci could see the Palazzo Ducale. He often included that view in the background of his pictures. When Baracci returned from Rome, uh, he made his first real altarpiece, his uh, Martyrdom of Saint Sebastian. The palette is dazzling. It is a dynamic altarpiece. It certainly involves you as you go in and you see the archers there and their uh, dynamic poses. And to me, that's one of the great things that Baracci does. There is such inherent dynamism in so many of his uh, figures that it really does point toward that explosive drama of the 17th century that we call Baroque. He's a painter who's very, very interested in making things real. His concern is to make things more graceful without departing from real anatomy, the structure of the human body, and a plausible pictorial space. And he does this both by the flutter of drapery, the compositional lines, and he does it by colour. When colour, I think, is largely something which he invents, and he thinks of in, if you like, musical terms. As we go on in his career, Baracci experiments more and more with the use of illumination. He does it in his stigmatization of St. Francis, where he hones in on the idea of the flooding of light, almost palpable light that washes over the figure of St. Francis, and you can almost feel it. With his altarpieces, he really did want people to be transported out of themselves. He would have been very pleased by the idea of people actually forgetting themselves completely, as they did with certain types of divine music in front of his pictures. The idea of transport, you being enraptured, that is absolutely what uh, Barocci is about. <laughs> 